Okay, in this video, we're going to quickly have a look at the life cycle of an activity. Now, we already discussed an activity. An activity is basically a screen that the user sees. So there's a life cycle for this activity. So when the activity gets launched, it runs a specific method called onCreate. It runs on start and then on resume. And then the activity is basically running. If another activity comes into the foreground, it goes to on pause, the user returns to the activity, it resumes again, and so forth. And we're going to go through this whole activity lifecycle now. So this is a nice picture that I got from uh, the Android developers website uh, that gives us an idea of what happens with the activity. In order to see all of these methods work nicely, we're going to do in the main activity. So I've just created a new uh, application called activity life cycle okay so inside of the main activity you'll see also in the resources layout folder my activity main there's my activity main and you can see it's just the normal hello world application so there's nothing new to this i've not added anything i just created a new blank project like i did in the previous video so in the main activity we just want to quickly do a few things so you've seen in that picture that one of the methods is the onCreate. So let's see when the onCreate method runs. Now, an, a nice place in order to see what happens in your application is to use a log. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say string. Let's go to the top quickly. I'm going to make this a global variable. So I'm going to say string tag equals, and then I'm going to say lifecycle event. And I'm going to close it off. OK, so that's just my tag. So I'm going to use a, a class called log of Android Util. And you can see the autocomplete of Android here that helps us really a lot. So I'm going to go with log there. If you click on enter, you'll see it adds the import statement for you as well. So I'm going to say log.d. And then you can see the first argument there is basically <clears throat> uh, basically the, the string that you want to, to show as the tag. So I'm going to use the tag there and the second argument will be the value that I want to display on the screen for that tag. So lifecycle event, I'm going to say uh, in onCreate to see when the onCreate method runs. Now I'm going to copy that one and then I'm going to add a few other methods here now. So you can just right click there and then you can go to generate and you'll see somewhere down the line there's override methods. So you're going to go to override methods and the first method that we're going to have a look at you can see there it's on create then on start. So let's search for the on start method. There it is. If you can't find it you can just type on start and it will basically also go to that one. So you can double click it and it adds the on start method. I'm going to add that log.d just in there. I'm going to show you now how that works. So in the this one should now be on start. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. Right click, generate, go to override methods, and let's search for the next one. So we've got on create, we've got on start. Let's look at on resume. Okay, if it's not directly there, just scroll down a bit. There's on resume. In the on resume, I'm going to also have that log tag there. And then this one will be on resume. Let's go down and create another method. Generate override methods. Let's look at the next one. So we've got on create, on start, on resume. Let's look for on pause quickly. Double click it. There's on pause. And you can just paste it again, log.d, the first argument is the tag, and then we're going to say in on create, but in this case in pause, in the on pause method. Then let's look at the next method. After on pause, it's on stop there. So let's see if we can do on stop quickly. Right click again, generate, override methods. There's the on stop method. Okay, and then I'm going to add that log again. So it's going to be on stop for the method. Then the next method is also an on destroy. So right click, generate, override methods. There's the on destroy method. 
And for this one, I'm also going to say on destroy. And then for the next one, generate again, override methods. Let's look at the next one. We've got on destroy. So the last one that we're still short is the on restart method. So let's search for on restart. There we go. And that's the method that we need. Okay, and then if you change that one also to restart, we've got all the methods now running. So this is the life cycle methods that you can add to your application or to your activities if needed. Uh, we're going to have a look now when we run this application on what happens or if we do certain things on the phone itself, what will happen and when will these methods run. So from the picture, you'll see that on create runs first, then on start, then on resume, basically directly after each other. Then the activity is running. When another activity comes into the foreground, it runs on pause. If that activity is no longer visible, on stop runs. And if the activity is finished or being destroyed by the system, it goes to on destroy. If it's also an on stop and the user navigates to the activity, it runs on restart, on start, on resume, and then it runs again. If it was on, in on pause and the user returns to the activity, it goes to on resume and then the activity runs again. So this is the whole life cycle of how your activity works. For instance, in the on destroy method, you could then go and create some coding to release some resources before your application exits, which will be a good place to do that in the on destroy method. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to quickly run this application. So I'm going to choose any one of my devices there. Just give it some time so the Android virtual device will start running. Okay, so now with the emulator up and running, let's look at uh, what happens in our Android monitor at the bottom. So just go to the bottom of your screen and go to Android monitor. And then you'll see the log cat there. So go to the log cat and you'll see that when the app first started, you can see the app is currently running. When it started, it, it ran the following uh, lines there at the bottom which says life cycle event in on create life cycle event in on start and life cycle event in on resume which goes back to this log d that we added there where the tag was saying life cycle event so you can see the tag there displays the first part there life cycle event and then after that the text that we place uh, in the log.d as the second argument Okay, so when we run this application, then this was the first things that happened. We were in on create, in on start, and then in on resume. So let's see what happens if I click, for instance, the back button here. So if I click the back button, you can see that it went into on pause, on stop, and on destroy. So now when we look at the picture again, of the activity life cycle, you can see that it started with on create, on start, and then on resume, and then the activity is running. So then when we click the back button now, you can see there's the methods. Let me just open up that picture again. You can see it went into on pause, on stop, and then into on destroy. Okay, so that's what happened. Now, if I run that app again, so if I go to my applications and I run the activity life cycle again, you can see that from there on it created or it went into on create again, on start, and then on resume. So exactly the same thing that happened now. It was in, in on destroy. When the activity comes back again, it's on create, on start, on resume, and now the activity is running. So let's say we click the home button now, which means we just go to the home. What happened? You can see it went into on pause and on stop, but it did not run on destroy. So you can see that in the picture as well, when we just click on the home button there, which takes us to the home screen, it goes into on pause and into on stop. So now if I go back to that activity again, click on it, it should go back to on restart, on start and on resume. So let's look at the, the methods. You can see it's in on restart, on start and on resume. So this is just basic methods to help you along with the activity lifecycle. Please go through these methods, test it on the phone, and make sure that you understand the Android lifecycle.